Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. This is going to be a reading for any sign watching who's currently involved in a love connection. So hopefully there'll be something here in the cards that'll give you an insight into how Divine Masculine is feeling, what they're thinking, what's going on um, on their end as well. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. Um, if you do enjoy this content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Um, that would mean a lot. Otherwise, let's jump into the reading and give the cards a good shuffle and let's have a look at the overall energy um divine masculine's overall energy Okay, so strong Scorpio energy so far in the cards um, overall. We've got the death card that's present here as well. So I feel like there is an ending that's happened here. Um, okay, so the death card is that there's a lot of things happening in this person's subconscious right now. There's a lot of thoughts and feelings that are rising to the surface um, and something that they're dealing with. Okay, this could be like a secret that's here as well. The Ace of Cups is here, which makes me feel like a divine masculine may be keeping something to their self right now. They're not um, opening up about a situation or perhaps they're not ready to open up about a situation where, where they're currently at. So straight away, um, there's this message that they are possibly keeping something to themselves and they're not ready to open that up um, just yet. We've got the Knight of Wands. So I feel like they have a lot of frustration or pent up energy that they're possibly trying to release. I gather they might uh, trying to be maybe releasing something, something that's going on here and trying to put it in their past. So it's very likely that they've got this suppression and they're trying to put that in the past somehow. They're trying to put some something here in the past that has happened to them. I also feel like Divine Masculine may be thinking about the past, so reflecting on an ex or reflecting on something that has happened maybe in the recent or distant um, past between the both of you. So it's it's coming up again. The Wheel of Fortune says like these cycles are coming up again. So they're, they're feeling some things. They're trying to like feel their way in, but at the same time, it's like a secret. So they're keeping it to themselves. They're not revealing it um, right now this person isn't ready for a new chance or a new beginning so it's either they don't want to reconnect if this is an ex or they don't want to have someone new right now it could just be in an energy where they're sort of digesting things uh, so it could be that they're not ready to do that it could also be that they're not revealing not revealing a secret something that they're sort of keeping close to their chest uh, in a way <clears throat> Let's see, what is it that they're trying to push back to their past somehow? Okay, we have Cancer that's come up as well. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, again, we've got the Death card. This time it's rever reversed. So the Death and the Wheel of Fortune have come up twice. Okay. We've also got Cancer energy. So this person is still attached to their past somehow. Um, and they could try to be denying their feelings or they could be in denial, but they still could be attached to someone from their past because they're either missing someone they used to be connected to because a chariot card is cancer, but cancer has an energy, it's nostalgic, um, and it's still attached or it's like they're holding a grudge. So there might be someone here who's actually holding a grudge, um, towards a person, towards an ex. So I feel like they're still bitter about what happened, especially if this is like an ex for a lot of you guys watching. It could be that this person is still bitter about how things went down, how things happened. You know, it wasn't sort of, it didn't go how they wanted it to go with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, they're trying to move forward in a situation, but something about timing, they feel like it wasn't the right time or timing somehow messed you guys up, messed up a situation. And I feel like they're not in an energy where they feel happy right now because Nine of Pentacles is reversed. Overall, I feel like what they're trying to hide is that they're not over someone that they used to deal with. So if you're if you're sort of seeing signs that your uh, DM is like still talking about their ex or 
you know, they're bringing them up or they're comparing you to them or they're still connected on social media, you know, obviously that could be a sign that there's still lingering feelings there. I guess overall this person is, this, this DM is trying to mask that, like they're trying to move on, but the, the chariot can also be the subconscious energy, so it would indicate subconsciously there's still something there, something that they're bitter. And if, especially if it's a secret, it could be, it could be like a secret that they're still talking to that person, or they're not over them, or they never told you the full extent of what happened in that relationship. So, you know, yeah, that can complicate things a lot. And maybe that's the kind of message that's coming up here, all, all that sort of, um, that complication is is coming up and you know it's it's pretty intense <clears throat> um let's see what else comes up in the cards Okay, they're confused. They're definitely comparing you to their ex or to their past person. There's some confusion here with the fool. There's no cards that would indicate deceit, but it would indicate three of swords that there is possibly some sort of confusion here. You can see she like looks worried. It could be that this person is worried their ex is going to reveal something to you. So in a sense, it's like um, it could be that this DM is scared their ex is going to reach out to you, okay, to the Divine Feminine, um, especially if they've been talking to the ex behind your back type thing. This could be exposed, and it could be that they're in a worried energy that that may happen, or they're worried something about their past is going to be exposed, and you might not be too happy to hear about it or to learn it. So they're trying to be civil with the Three of Cups. Chances are they're still friends with an ex, okay? So if you're this person that finds yourself in that situation, it could be that they're still friends. I mean, why do people still stay friends with exes? I mean, it's different if they've got kids together or assets. You know, they obviously need to be on some sort of speaking terms. But if they're not connected in that way and they're still in touch and, you know, it might be something you want to question. Um, it could just be a sincere friendship, but more often than not, it means that there's still some sort of feelings there, especially if this DM is trying to hide it. If they're like hiding conversations that they're having with this person or they're not being honest when you approach them and ask them about these things, chances are they may have something to hide. You may need to confront them even more because the nine of ones is here and that's hiding something here. So again, it's the secret. It's the secrets that they keep having. Um, and honestly, if they keep doing this, it's like they're digging themselves a bigger hole. Obviously, this isn't going to be for everyone. We're all in different love situations. But if you're finding that your person, your DM is being more and more secretive, especially regarding his past, chances are there's something there that they don't want you to know. Maybe they're not ready. Let's have a look. Um, are they not ready to reveal what happens, the truth, the extent? Okay, there's those feelings that are coming up with the Six of Cups. They're missing this person or they're thinking about them. Could also be that the ex has reached out to them. Um, and said, I miss you. What have you been up to? Two of Swords. They don't know what to do right now. They haven't taken much action. They're actually confused. So could be like Divine Masculine got a message from an ex or someone that they used to see. They still have feelings. Probably haven't responded just yet. But they are in a state of being confused about the next step. And there may be this energy of like comparing you to them or comparing the relationship they had with them with you. And, you know, that's only natural, especially after we leave a relationship um, and we've had that attachment with another person. Obviously, we're going to compare them to, to each other, right? So, I mean, it's hard to hear, but it's the truth. We've all done it. I feel with the Four of Pentacles reversed. In this deck, it's like about opening up and seeing where the future takes us, opening up the box, right? But in this instance, it's reversed, so it's like, they think about the ex, but they don't necessarily want to go there because it's like, what happens if I if I respond to them? What happens if we meet up? Is that going to open up that box again? Is it going to make things more intense? Is it going to make things worse? Is it going to make me want to leave the situation? So I guess they're hesitating for a reason. So 
two of swords they're in two minds they're in some sort of conflict or battle but they need to make a decision if, uh, if this dm doesn't make a decision it's obviously going to be a lot harder for everyone involved um so that's 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 a bit tricky I still feel like with the Six of Cups, it might have been like they accidentally bumped into someone that they used to be connected with as well. They need time to think, so you may notice themselves distancing. Um, you may notice them distancing themselves from you. So if you're noticing like they're not inviting you over as much, they're not staying over, they're not being as in touch as they used to be chances are it's because they need to be alone and they need to reflect with the hermit there's obviously some things that they haven't healed from the star card is like they still need to heal from some sort of damage done or residual feelings or whatever it is that's happened they're still in that healing process so maybe they still hold a grudge maybe they still hold um maybe they still have those feelings they there could be there could be something that still lingers here for them. And the hermit would indicate they want to retreat. So they're going to back off a bit. They'll be more quieter than they used to. And chances are maybe it's best to just let them be and let them have that time to themselves. Because if you're going to push them, it's probably going to push them closer to the ex or the other person rather than you. So, I mean, will they be in a position to communicate? Not right now. I feel like they're all keeping it to themselves. They're keeping their cards close to their chest they're keeping those feelings close to them because they don't want to reveal that maybe they don't want to panic you um the star card could indicate eventually they may open up and they may tell you what's up what's going on what they're feeling internally two of pentacles is reversed so they will come to that decision they will come to so some sort of decision either choosing you choosing to tell you the secret choosing to tell you about their past choosing you over the x the x over you there's obviously some sort of decision that's going to come to light here uh, because the star is also like getting inspiration and putting something out there to, to the world to the public so you know but, but this could also be like you guys are involved, their ex comes back, they realize what they have with you, what they had with their ex, and they go. They, they decide to maybe go exclusive and say, look, I'm no longer interested, I wanna date this new person, or maybe they say to the ex, all right, I wanna go back with you, let's make this official, but there is something that they do wanna make official, whether it is with you or whether it is with their past person. Um, but again, it's such a strong card of healing that I'm more um, I'm more leaning towards more that it's a, it's an energy where they still have to take the time to be alone to deal with their emotions and to step away from their relationship because it's not fair on you if this if you're sort of dealing with a broken heart um, or if you're still trying to like pick up the pieces and this person is still dwelling on the past it's it's not going to be fair on you to move the relationship forward to move the connection forward that's going to come with its own complications so i really feel like that is something that you need to look into and to be aware of um as you guys proceed in this connection i think that's very very important um coming into this sort of energy. So they're not gonna, all right, they're not gonna make much effort. I can see that they're sort of just gonna let things unfold in front of them and they're gonna be more reactive than proactive to the situation. So it's like, they're not gonna take any action. They just wanna see how things unfold between you, between them and their past. So they're not going to put in the hard yards. They're not going to put in that effort, effort with you or effort with their past. It's like, I'm just going to be in a neutral energy. That's what they're thinking. I'm just going to be neutral. What comes, comes, whatever will be, will be. Whatever happens, happens. Again, it's like them being on autopilot and just letting things unfold in front of them. So I think their actions will say a lot. What they end up doing or what they don't end up doing will say a lot about where they stand, what they feel, and where they're going to move from here. So that's going to be super telling for you whether you want that, you know, whether you want how much you want this person and how attached they are to the past, if in fact they even are, if you're dealing with that kind of energy. So 
I do hope this reading has been helpful and I really appreciate you tuning in. Um, thank you so, so much. Please don't forget to leave a like, share or subscribe. Uh, that'll mean a lot. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be catching up very, very soon. So uh, thank you again, all signs for watching and really appreciate you being here. So thank you again and bye for now.